The topic is the chosen people. What a topic. Now what we want to know is who's doing the choosing? What are they choosing for? So it is proper for us to begin at the beginning. Judaism would not exist if Africa did not exist. Islam would not exist if Africa did not exist. Christianity would not exist if Africa did not exist. And the white man and white woman himself and herself, and I certainly mean no disrespect, but you were warned that you must honor your mother and your father, that your days may be long. The white man and the white woman, be they Jew or Gentile, and let's get that mess straight before we even get started. Every Caucasian, every white man and woman who is not a Jew is a Gentile. All white folks who do not ascribe and believe to the tenets of Jude Judaism are considered white folks in general. <laughs> They're considered Gentiles. I mean, there's no question about it. Now, let us proceed. Since we've got that out of the way and got that straight, mm -hmm. we don't have to especially, except for specific purposes during these few moments, separate the Jew from other white folks. All white folks are white folks. Right. But for specific purposes and to adhere to the debate topic, we will have to make a distinction because the Jews have indeed caught hell all over the world. That people that are called Jews today. Let me put that on the board. If, if it's not insulting to anyone, and even if it is, Come on, I have to say, so-called Jews, and then I'm going to go after this thing. So-called Jews. You see, the Jew is indeed an ancient people. That's right. The Jew is indeed an original people. But the question is, are you the real Jew? The question is, those of you of light pigmentation and white pigmentation, are you that original Jew from Abraham and from Moses? That's the question. That's the question that we hope to answer today. Because when you hide behind the term Jew, you are hiding behind something that the cover has to be pulled off of today. The Jew has caught hell. The so-called Jew, the white Jew, has caught hell all over the planet Earth. Yes. No one can deny that. Right. But now the question is, why has the white Jew caught hell? The white Jew has caught hell because you represent that group or that circle of people who adhered to the laws and the teachings and the customs that Moses brought to you. Come on. That Moses actually gave you a sense of civilization. Moses actually gave to you a sense of culture. And Moses actually gave to you an edge on the rest of the Gentiles. Your adherence to what Moses taught you put you out front. And when you're out front and the spotlight is on you, you meet with the anger, the resentment, the jealousy, and the scorn of your other white sister and brother. Right. Yeah. Who is this chosen people? We want to go back to the role of Africa in the rise of Judaism. Abraham was mentioned and Moses was mentioned. Let us take a look at these two great ones and see what we can find on Abraham and Moses. When we look at Abraham and Moses, we find Abraham, sometimes called the original Jew, grew up in Ur, a city in Chaldea, according to Genesis 11, 27 through 29, or what is called today, as they will bear me witness, Mesopotamia, which was east of what is, was called Palestine. The ancient inhabitants were the Sumerians, who just like the early Canaanites, the Natufians were noted 
as being of African ancestry. Come on. According to Professor W.J. Perry, the myth, legends, and traditions of the Sumerians include their origin as Ethiopia also. That in fact and in effect, the Kushites, the Sumerians, were one and the same people. Come on. The Sumerians established the earliest civilization of that region. They started agricultural practices, including irrigation, built cities, tended cattle, and invented a form of writing, all inherited by the Semitic inhabitants. At the age of 75, according to the Old Testament, Abraham, accompanied by his wife Sarah, and a small band of Herubas, or Hebrews, meaning crossed over, they entered Egypt as the result of a great famine in Canaan according to Genesis 12, 4 through 10. Possibly to wait until conditions improved at home. From what has been mentioned about the history of the Canaan region, it's possible that all of Abraham's descendants were African. Now, many go on to say that Moses was a Jew. <laughs> Moses very clearly was an Egyptian. And the very Torah that the so-called Jew believes in bears witness that Moses was indeed an Egyptian. Let us turn to Exodus and see if Moses was a Jew or an Egyptian. Second chapter of Exodus, the 19th through the 21st verses. Let's take a look at it. And they came to Ruel, their father, is the seven daughters of Ruel. This is after Moses, who didn't practice nonviolence. When Moses found the people being persecuted, Moses killed one of the ones who was persecuting the people. And then he had to flee for his life. And there he got refuge in the land where Ruel was, and he had seven daughters. And the father asked his daughters, How is it that you, how is it that you are come so soon? You come back so quickly today. And they said, an Egyptian, who? Egyptian. An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. Drove the shepherds away and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. And he said unto his daughters, and where is this Egyptian? Why is it that you have left the man behind? Call him that he may eat bread with us. And Moses was content to come and eat bread with them and to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, in marriage. Now, the Torah itself clearly states that Moses was an Egyptian. I mean, there's not very much arguing we can do with that. On tour in Israel, I've been twice, and the guide that took us throughout the area took us showed us different busts and statues of Moses and uh, there where they keep the, uh, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls right in that vicinity and showed him as a very dark bronze complexioned man and I asked him specifically I said do the people of this land respect Moses as being black? He said yes it's common knowledge <laughs> they respect him as being black then we have another scripture that says Moses was fearful that he could not meet Pharaoh, that he was not eloquent enough. So the scriptures say God told Moses to take his hand and stick it in his bosom. And then Moses took his hand out of his bosom and it turned as white as snow. And then it said God told him to stick his hand back. And he stuck his hand back and it turned back like it was at first, which means it was other than White as snow. The Jews, as they are called, the original Jews that were in Egypt, were no doubt a people of African descent and African origin. Now, whence came this Johnny Come Lately Jew? Where did he come from? When did he come in the picture? He is a European who, after the grafting process took place in the Holy Land, he was driven into the caves and hills of Europe. The prefix EU means caves and hillsides. Rope 
is the rope to bind in. They were confined to the caves and hills of Europe, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us, for approximately 2,000 years. Come on, There they went savage in the caves and hills. And he said unto his daughters, And where is this Egyptian? Why is it that you have left the man behind? Call him that he may eat bread with us. And Moses was content to come and eat bread with them and to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, in marriage. Now, the Torah itself clearly states that Moses was an Egyptian. I mean, there's not very much arguing we can do with that. On tour in Israel, I've been twice, and the guide that took us throughout the area took us showed us different busts and statues of Moses and uh, there where they keep the, uh, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls right in that vicinity and showed him as a very dark bronze complexioned man and I asked him specifically I said do the people of this land respect Moses as being black? He said yes it's common knowledge <laughs> they respect him as being black then we have another scripture that says Moses was fearful that he could not meet Pharaoh, that he was not eloquent enough. So the scriptures say God told Moses to take his hand and stick it in his bosom. And then Moses took his hand out of his bosom and it turned as white as snow. And then it said God told him to stick his hand back. And he stuck his hand back and it turned back like it was at first, which means it was other than white as snow. The Jews as they are called, the original Jews that were in Egypt were no doubt a people of African descent and African origin. Now whence came this Johnny come lately Jew? Where did he come from? When did he come in the picture? He is a European who after the grafting process took place in the Holy Land, he was driven into the caves and hills of Europe. The prefix EU means caves and hillsides. Rope is the rope to bind in. They were confined to the caves and hills of Europe, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us, for approximately 2,000 years. Come on, There they went savage in the caves and hills. And he said unto his daughters, And where is this Egyptian? Why is it that you have left the man behind? Call him that he may eat bread with us. And Moses was content to come and eat bread with them and to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, in marriage. Now, the Torah itself clearly states that Moses was an Egyptian. I mean, there's not very much argument we can do with that. On tour in Israel, I've been twice. And the guide that took us throughout the area took us showed us different busts and statues of Moses and uh, there where they keep the, uh, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls right in that vicinity and showed him as a very dark bronze complexioned man and I asked him specifically I said do the people of this land respect Moses as being black? He said yes it's common knowledge <laughs> they respect him as being black then we have another scripture that says Moses was fearful that he could not meet Pharaoh, that he was not eloquent enough. So the scriptures say God told Moses to take his hand and stick it in his bosom. And then Moses took his hand out of his bosom and it turned as white as snow. And then it said God told him to stick his hand back. And he stuck his hand back and it turned back like it was at first, which means it was other than white as snow. The Jews as they are called, the original Jews that were in Egypt were no doubt a people of African descent and African origin. Now whence came this Johnny come lately Jew? Where did he come from? When did he come in the picture? He is a European who after the grafting process took place in the Holy Land, he was driven into the caves and hills of Europe. The prefix EU means caves and hillsides. Rope is the rope to bind in. They were confined to the caves and hills of Europe, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us, for approximately 2,000 years. Come on, There they went savage in the caves and hills. And he said unto his daughters, And where is this Egyptian? 
Why is it that you have left a man behind? Call him that he may eat bread with us. And Moses was content to come and eat bread with them and to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, in marriage. Now, the Torah itself clearly states that Moses was an Egyptian. I mean, there's not very much arguing we can do with that. On tour in Israel, I've been twice, and the guide that took us throughout the area took us, showed us different busts and statues of Moses, and uh, there where they keep the uh, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls right.